Welcome. How often do we hear that the climate data has been fiddled? I suppose that if you've got no other arguments, the only thing left to you is to question the actual data that show you what's going on. Well, let's see actually how much this climate data has really been fiddled. In this case, it's a con. The con is on. What often you see is a comparison of, say, NASA data from different time periods that show that the temperature data is apparently changed, particularly making the older data seem lower temperature, which would by implication make the more current data are hotter than it actually is. This is absolutely wrong. Tony Heller is a master of this particular con, and this video is a reveal of what his actual trick is. They just love to show the NASA data. Uh, this is the data from UAH, the University of Alabama, Huntsville, which shows the satellite data for the last 40 odd years. And you can see overall there's a general upward trend in the data, but there are lots of variability in the data from month to month and even from uh, year to year. But overall, there's an increase in temperature. What they don't mention in this particular data is that the data they're showing you is not surface data. It is data taken high up in the atmosphere, in fact, several kilometers up in the atmosphere on average. The second thing it is, these aren't actual temperatures. They're what's called effective temperatures or brightness temperatures, which is derived from the brightness of the microwave emissions from the surface of the Earth. And the other thing they don't tell you, in order to turn this into a brightness temperature, they have to use models of the atmosphere, the same models that most of these uh, global warming deniers deride as being useless. So there's a little bit of inconsistency going on here. So let's take a look at this data a bit more closely. Here is the monthly data from UAH for the so-called lower atmosphere, the lower troposphere. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trace out these particular temperatures like so. You can see the black uh, dots that I've put over it. And I think I've done a pretty good job of tracing those out. I've also put in a black line here, which corresponds to the zero point of all of this data. So we're going to use that, we're going to remember that and use that to compare with the future data sets. Okay, here's a, another plot of the same sort of data, but taken five months later. So we've got five months more worth of data there, and that showed some cooling of the uh, lower troposphere. But otherwise the data looks rather similar, does it not? However, let's now superimpose the uh, trace that I did of the previous plot on this one using the zero point as the reference. Now you can see that all the older data is now about 0.15 degrees cooler than the data that is shown now. So what has happened in just five months that has made NASA make all this data 1.15 degrees cooler? So let's put these two plots side by side and see what the differences are. You can see that every single peak here and dip for that matter has cooled by this 0.15 degrees centigrade all up until the time of the new data plot. So again, just in five months, we've had a major cooling of all the older data. So is NASA fiddling the data? No, it isn't. The difference lies in these two numbers. This is the reference period for each of the data anomaly plots. On the left, the reference period is from 1981 to 2010. And on the right, the reference period is from 1991 to 2020. So we're taking a different reference number away from uh, the two data sets. Now, all this does is shift the older data down. It doesn't change the trend in the data one iota at all. So what do people like Tony Heller, who claim that NASA is fiddling the data, not telling you? First of all, that this is not a measure of absolute temperature. If this had happened with absolute temperature, I would agree there is the problem, but it isn't. It's a temperature anomaly. They are being measured with respect to a reference level, and that reference level changes uh, every decade to be the last 30 years. So if there has been warming during that decade, the old reference level will increase, and so the older data will appear cooler. It won't change the level of the trends in the data or anything else, 
just the uh, zero point on the graph. The change in the reference level from 1981 to, uh, to 1991 shows that there has been global warming in that period of 0.12 degrees centigrade per decade. So it confirms that there has been global warming. So our conclusion from all of this is that NASA is not fiddling the data. There's no fiddling going on here. The only fiddling that's going on here is in the mind of Tony Heller and the people that use this weak argument to try and persuade people that global warming is not real. So until next time, be well, stay safe, and goodbye.